Hey, so today I want to talk to you guys about how to go from this mess to this. A polished and finished looking clutch that you've made from things that you've had lying around the house. Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about a project I did. So I did a DIY and I'm going to do another walkthrough. Eventually I'm going to get around to filming while I'm actually doing this, but this particular project, I was in my t-shirt and my panties, <laughs> TMI, right? Um, so I didn't really feel like filming while I was doing this, so I'm just going to talk you through how to make um, a purse, well, a little clutch from, like, your old fabric or whatever. So here's my clutch, and it's just this little um, jean clutch and it has like a little um part where you can like unbutton it here which is the old strap of my jean shirt the cuff part you know at the bottom and then I just made a little slit through the top part and I know it's a little unpolished but hey you know it was my first time and I just kind of wanted to make use of what I had so there's the inside of the bag, if you can see, and I don't have anything in it right now, but I am planning on you using this this weekend when I go out with my girls. And I know it is a little bit unfinished, you know, a little ragged, but I actually kind of like the rugged look, and I just like the idea that it hits my work, so hey. Um, but yeah, so you stick that through, and then I've sewn on this little part. So, alright, let's get started on the walkthrough about this. So. First of all, I started off with something like this, all right? All right, so this piece of fabric. And this one actually has a hole because I used to wear this shirt and I loved it. But then I got a little chunky and girlfriend couldn't fit in it no more. So I had to cut off the sleeves. Tell me about it, right? Too many cakes and pies for me. All right, so I cut off the sleeves and then I was like, mm, well, maybe I can do something with this. So what I did was I took and I cut that sleeve in half, right? And we all know, like, jean material is pretty strong. Um, so I was like, well, what I'll do is I'll take and I'll fold it in half, right? So I folded that piece of fabric and that bad boy in half, right? And then uh, what I did was I took and I just simply sewed the sides. See, this one I'm going to make, and it's going to be a little bit different than the one that I just previously showed you. I'm probably going to cut this out, or I'm actually going to fold it over like this. And I should have probably brought some pins down. I think I may actually just fold this one over like this. Um, like this. Oopsie, let me get it straight. Okay, so I'm probably going to fold it over like this, and then it will flap down like this kind of like that so it'll be like a little rectangle or clutch and I'll probably you know really sew these parts down really good and then close up the end caps and then add on um, this piece the bottom just like I've done to the other one now this particular one here um, as you can see I've just sewn up the edges and it's just a rough hand sew that I did on these excuse me <clears throat> and I did that to both um, sides so yeah, I just did that, and then um, what I did here was I just took and I sewed this part. You can see the stitching. I didn't um, do any kind of hiding here. I could have, but I just didn't feel like it, so whatever. Um, so I sewed this on right here, and then um, the buttons are already on there, of course, and so then I was like, oh, well, I could just make a little hole through this part, which I did, and then I can stick this bad boy right through there, and then I don't, and there's my closure, because you don't want to go out, right? You're out clubbing and everything, acting wild and crazy. Well, I know I do. Yes, I act wild and crazy. So... You don't want to go out and then all your shit's falling out, right? <laughs> so you need something to close that bad boy off. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's so cute. And I think this is a really original idea. Like, I don't think I'm going to see too many people with something like this. 
So this is how you can reuse your old stuff. So I will insert pictures into my video of like how I actually styled the shirt portion. And then you can see that this is the leftovers from that. And basically what I want to introduce to you guys is that it's important that we're thinking outside the box and that we're creating things that um, are from things we already have. So a lot of times we get caught up in having to go out and buy stuff all the time. And I think, you know, that's well and fine. You know, when the money is there, yes, you want to spend it. But it's not always what you have to do. There's a lot of things that you can do from home and you can work on you can look at videos of other people's how they did things and how they make stuff and that can really save you a lot of money and teach you how to be a little bit more in tune with your creative side so i think that's really what i'm trying to showcase here is that you know get inspired from pieces that you already have you know and i think this clutch has some unique details like it has this button from where I, I had actually cut up the sleeve and that's pretty cool and I sewed this down as well because I didn't want you know if this little button opens up my stuff falling out so I didn't sew it down there because I think it'll be okay and I don't feel like it's gonna come open but I did sew it up at the top and so yeah this was a really basic thing and I think anyone can do this really um, I just simply fold it over the fabric like I told you in half and then I sewed up the sides and I had this little part that was hanging down, so I just folded that in, and I slid a little hole through it, and I sewed on the band from the bottom. And that is all I did here. So, yeah, anyone can do this, and um, again, get inspired and be creative. Bye!